हमारा एस टी का बच्चा है वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट No, this is Bombay ST only. Just dial the number like from my phone okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. right so, now, and then you call them and tell them I'm calling now, walking down the street. So, let's. Let's go. I don't know. We should ask Vipul. It's a good question. <laughs> I think he's trying to show the conflicting balances between these two cultures and also I think it kind of symbolizes the youth, the youthfulness, the kind of jo the, the, the feeling of the film, the soul of the film. As in dreams such as Namaste Lennon, we get a bit of feeling that Lennon has been exploited a lot in the day they like to feel it has, but I, I really feel London is used in a different way in this film. I mean, there's been many locations we've gone on where I was like, let's take the shot, and why don't we take a huge big shot like this? And he said, I'm not here to shoot a documentary about London. I'm here to shoot this film. If London happens to be the backdrop, then so be it. But I'm not going to start showing these big crane shots just because I want to. You know, it's, it's very relevant to the story. There's, there's, no, there's no exaggeration or extravagance where it's not required. He's such a lovely guy and he really was someone who initially I was a little intimidated of and lately he and then after you know some time he was very supportive you know and he would be very vocal about about his encouragement and how he felt about me doing a good job and that was a really really sweet thing someone for him, to hear from someone of his st stature and standing. Any particular incident would you like to say something about? For me, I learned from this movie that you can learn so much more. There is no boundary to how much you will learn and improve. So that that for me was the main thing. I guess shooting in London was very special for me because three of my sisters are there. So we we got to spend a lot of time together. We got to go out to restaurants and relax and chill and. It was it was nice to be working in London and being there also at the same time with my family. I would say this is a romantic comedy, but in a very much more fast and pacey kind of a format. Uh, we talked something about the music, emotions, given the music mm -hmm. is already on the chart. Yeah. You know, I think there's a song called um, Rafta Rafta which I think is a really uh, nice nice track it's quite fun it's upbeat I think the music really carries forward the feel of the film it really contains the soul of the film and that was very important for this film the music should not be a distraction in a film like this it's too quick and pacey of a film and it's you know it's, a, it's just the film you go in and you leave feeling really happy it's that kind of a film mm -hmm. will you talk to me about uh, the woman who is also no he's not there who's the other that's pretty much it. Do you feel like this is uh, kind of like, you know, a very family, you know, wedding and this thing, that look is also there somewhere? Yeah, that's one scene in the movie and then that, that is, that's always fun to get to do different looks in films. Well, I have great expectations and great hopes and obviously I'm looking forward to the release and I'm just waiting now to see the response. Yeah, you know, just get it out of the way. You know, just you know, if you're happy, heard the name, everyone push. Good. Let's do the next interview. Let's <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, we are before you, but uh, yeah. before you are not doing that. Yeah. 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 India. We'll just start with yeah. so, the Z International. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Katrina, we are having this year in 2007, which is kind of launching into a league of your. Now you are in the uh, multi-cure deal signing club. So tell us about this year. 
success or with every positive film that is a success i think obviously people's confidence in, in you definitely does increase whether it's the distributors or the producers of the film their confidence in you does increase and and obviously that does go into helping whether they're doing a future project with you or they're making as you said um a two film deal or whatever it may be so i think people gain confidence from experience and i think that that is um that is something that the producers have felt it's been um it's been a fantastic year like you said 2007 i i've had a fantastic time um starting with namaste london which was such a important film for me to to partner to welcome to apne and um now race is the first release of 2008 completely different film for me and um i just now i i'm interested to see the audience response to a film like this it's not a it's not a comedy film it's not a romantic film it's a it's an action thriller suspense film it's completely different genre something i've never done can you tell us about the maximum film I think every film that you're a part of is is special. Every film for me that I've done is it's it's like a my baby and I I have my my heart in every film no matter who's in the film, who's not there in the film. I think that every film has been a positive experience for me and I choose to see it as a positive way. I don't I don't think that there's anything any I don't know anything wrong in that. It, it it is it is very similar in in terms of it's not at all similar in its storyline but it's similar in that kind of genre of of a very pacey fast moving film which is is something which is pure entertainment for the audience you don't know what's happening um there's always twists and turns in the story there's something new every 20 minutes unfolding and and that is something which i think the audience is going to really enjoy your importance or your length of your role is going to differ from film to film in a, in a film like namaste london i was in every scene of the movie now as much as i loved that <laughs> every film cannot be like that unfortunately it just it as much as you want it to be it can't and you have to see the film in its entirety this is this a film which i think the audience is going to want to see is it a film that if i was paying to go and see a movie would i go and see this film is it is it does it have that potential you cannot there are no certainties in the film industry but if it has that potential then there's no reason why you shouldn't do it if you think that it's got the chance what kind of the preparation of the film you have to do stunts see i did not have much physical action in terms of fighting or jumping or anything like that i i was part more of the climax in the car chases which only involved me sitting in a very and somebody else driving very fast so for me that was it was more the the risk element rather than actual physical activity she's a she's a woman who when you the film starts you you don't seem to really know much about her she's a she seems to be a very dedicated person to her work very uh, focused on taking care of Seth's whole life and you know his character's whole life and his, his properties and his offices and his affairs but what you the audience doesn't really know where does she go home to does she have a family does she have you know where does she live what is she like as a person it's a bit of a mystery element around her character and uh, in the interval you kind of come to know that there is another side to her there is a secret which she has and something which the audience does not know that's a song which uh, started i think day before yesterday on the promos it's a very fun hip hop kind of a feel to the song it's a celebratory song the song situation was always there in the movie it was a song which was actually in the cd as another song there is a song if you go to see the cd but as we had to we had to delay the shooting of that song because of the monsoon period and at that time 
we had, Saf and everyone had felt that this song was a far better song. And they heard it and they said that this is the perfect song for the situation. So I think they will be including that as of next week on the CD. But it's already started on TV, the promos. And I think it's, it sums up that situation of the film very well in that particular um, point where the song comes. It's a fun song. It's something which I think will be very popular in the discos with the kids and stuff. And it's got catchy lyrics as well. See, the film is styled by Anita Shroff, who is one of our leading most uh, stylists and designers. And she is very, very good at maintaining a look for a character. A lot of times what happens is you can wear one nice outfit in the film, but your, your look does not maintain a consistency. And she is very, very good and correct with keeping the consistency of a character and making sure they are dressed according to character. And I think she's done a superb job in the film. Everybody looks really, really good. And more importantly, everybody looks very different. I'm much more of a person who's pretty just comfortable in simple clothes in a day-to-day -day life. I'm actually not a very overtly glamorous person in my own life. But on films, of course, it is a chance for you to show different characters. And it's a chance for you to... Um, to to portray different styles and for me that's always one of, of it, well it's not one of the most but it's a very exciting element to every new film is to work out the look for a character. I'm not good with choices. You can never give me choices. I'm not good at them. But I've, I've loved working with everyone I've worked with. Everyone I've worked with has taught me something new, from Anil Kapoor to Akshay to, to Sunny to Govinda to everyone. They've, I've learned something new from all of them. And there are so many fantastic actors I'd love to work with. There's, yeah, there is one. I'd love to work with Jared Butler. <laughs> so if he ever comes to India, I'm the first person in line. Um, uh, that that is one person I think. This only name I can think of right now. I don't think that there's any sense in being part of a race because these numbers are decided and they're put by whom. There's no such thing that there's a poll all over India where the audiences and your fans decide. I think it's better that you just you you concentrate on the work you're doing. You be happy in the work you're doing. And as long as your films are working and you know the audience is coming in to see your films and you're part of good cinema, I think, and you know you have fans who love you, I think that's the most important thing. I don't think numbers is, is, is something you really should get into. I think one good lesson you can learn from the film race is that competition is not healthy. And ex especially excessive competition is not, is not very healthy and it usually has quite dire consequences. Sorry? Yeah, it, it wasn't. It wasn't actually much like that. It was. It was a pretty calm working environment. Abbas Mustan are very, very. Um, they're very peaceful, peaceful, loving people, and that kind of their personalities reflect on the kind of the atmosphere of the set. And besides. Um, playing chess with Akshay and every once in a while uh, Seth would kind of come in and play half a game but then he gets bored and he runs off. There wasn't too much other, you know, activities as such. When we first started the film there was one schedule where Seth did make sure to take out the unit and the entire cast and crew and everyone for, for dinners in South Africa. There were some beautiful restaurants by the sea which he would take everyone to these lovely dinners and I think he was really trying to make sure everybody felt part of the team and nobody felt left out and you know got kind of a sense of team spirit if you like. See I dub my films in terms of everyday life obviously there is there is English is my first language and it is my primary comfort in terms of speaking every day with my friends or with my family but in terms of film luckily for me the industry has advanced so much that we are working with scripts now, whereas if before you go to see, dialogues tend to have been given right before the shot. 
So now we are working with scripts a lot more, and I think that thing has made for a much more organized and professional working environment. Katrina, I think Katrina, you know, I've seen serious post stuff, it's not that friendly, it's not that humorous. This is all popular, uh, what do you call it, gossips, or, you know, things which are just part of that entertainment shows which you see on TV, and there's, there's nothing like that. In fact, um, me and Samira were quite good friends since the time we've done our dance classes together. And, um, and uh, I've worked with Bipasha before in Hamko Divana, if you remember. So Bipasha is that on the set? I think if anyone would ever have an on-set problem, they would be a, an extremely unprofessional person. And I love my work and I love my movies too much to ever behave in an unprofessional manner, so <laughs> I would not, could not do that.